Android Wear users rejoice! Google has got your back. They have finally released an update that has actually changed the interface. <laughs> What's going on guys, Andrew Huang here again for LPX Tech and as I just stated, Google has finally announced that they're going to be releasing a major update for the Android Wear platform. For, so for those of you who have the Sony Watch, LG G Watch, R, Moto 360, etc, etc, you guys are going to get an update that's going to be comparable now to the Apple Watch and actually it's going to help beat Samsung. And for those of you who haven't noticed before, um, if you guys haven't seen my vlog on it, I pretty much ranted on why I didn't personally like Android Wear and why I chose to wear a Samsung Tizen watch over it over time. But this time around, Google has actually addressed two of the main concerns that I actually had with the watch. So let's just go right down the list. If you guys want to just read the updates for yourself, I'll go ahead and leave a link to the blog posted by Google right down in the description box. But number one, they're pretty much adding always on screens. So they already have this for most of their watches. So a lot of their watch interfaces for like, let's say the Moto 360 and LG G Watch R to give the chronograph watches and everything. But now they're extending it to allow always on apps. So pretty much what the Apple Watch is gonna do. So let's say you have a navigation running and you don't wanna have to constantly turn on your screen on and off. Well, there's a mode where you can actually leave it on constantly. And what it will do is, after you look at it and then you put your hands down and the watch detects that, it's going to pretty much turn off all the colors and dim down. So stay on in the background, but at the same time, you won't have to reboot the entire system to get back to the app, which is an actual plus. On top of that, guys, they're going to be adding more watch faces and more apps that are compatible with this function. So be on the lookout for that one. Now, number two thing they're adding is Wi-Fi support for the watches. So what, what I got out of the article, um, I, I don't think I fully understand, but pretty much, let's say you leave your phone at home and it's still connected to the network, but you just left it, but, and you're out and about. If you can connect your watch to a Wi-Fi router or network, it will be actually able to connect to your phone remotely, and then you'll still be able to receive all your notifications and texts and everything from your phone to your watch. So that's one cool function. Now, I'm not sure how exactly that's going to work, but hey, you, you're, they're finally offering you guys remote connectivity like the Samsung has. Not exactly because it's, the, it's still not connected to the mobile network as the Samsung um, Gear S is, but compared to the 2 and 2 Neo, this is actually one upping it in that aspect. While Apple pretty much knocked off everyone else's interface essentially this time around, because since they're late in the game, they're the one technically copycatting Android Wear, Tizen, and Pebble, and all that stuff for some of their stuff. But the one thing that Google took away from Apple is actually the emoji drawing on the watches. Um, so it's actually kind of funny. So it's the same thing where you can start dictating patterns and um, pictures with certain messages and, uh, and actions and the system will learn it and it'll go ahead and implement it. So that's one, thought, that's one thing that I, was, I thought that was cool because that's, e that's a lot easier than having to navigate through or to type things out um, using the, the on-screen keyboard on these small screens. So that's one thing that I'm glad they actually brought over to the Android Wear platform. But lastly, I am glad to say that they finally changed the interface to work a lot more smoothly. So if you didn't watch my vlog, my rant on Android Wear before, in order to access your apps, you can only do it one of two ways. One, you have to speak to it. So you have to say, okay, Google, and then open up Tetris or something like that. If you didn't want to use speech, like most of you don't, because you're in a public location or you're at work, you don't want to start saying, okay, Google out loud. You pretty much have to swipe over, scroll all the way up and go down to the apps icon, open that up and then find your, then find your app. You can argue with me that that didn't take too much effort, but trust me when I say this, it's the fact that you have to go through three or four levels of interactions was a little annoying to me piece to Samsung. I simply tap, swipe up and I'm there. But they finally changed this around where now you can simply just swipe left to right and there's all your apps ready for you right at your fingertips. Same thing with the contacts. They did the same interaction with that. Your contacts are available like that. So this is what I love. So it's people like Google are actually listening to the feedback out there and they're changing it. I mean, that's awesome because now the interface is actually appealing to people like me now because we don't want to waste time on these things. The, the whole purpose of getting these watches is either one, making more convenient or being able to get your data faster. 
So if you make it slower, it's going to turn people away. But now that you finally implemented a system down, now everyone can get used to, because that's what you're used to guys now, because you're used to swiping and getting your apps open, that interaction will literally translate over right to the watch. So it will be seamless. So pretty much those are the four things that they are changing to the Android Wear platform. And actually, I'm actually considering now going out and buying either like a G Watch or a G Watch R to give it a second shot when the updates do come out. Now from the blog post, it looks like it's gonna be rolling out in the next few weeks. Um, so just be on the lookout for an update from Google or from your phone to update your watch. Well guys, I hope you found this announcement um, useful. For those of you who have Android Wear phones, um, I hope that this is welcome news for you. It's welcome news for me too because I used to be an Android Wear user. Um, now I'm at, now I actually might consider going back to try out because I wanna give every watch, every device, a fair opportunity to wow me and stuff. So even with the Apple Watch too, I, I diss it a lot, but at the end of the day, I tell people to go buy it because they need to experience a smart device, no matter which brand it is and stuff, but you gotta do it right. Now before I wrap up here, um, for those of you who actually stuck through to this part of the video, and you guys are smart watch users, um, I know you, a lot of you have probably been running into this issue lately, and that is people coming up to you and asking you if that's the new Apple Watch. Doesn't matter if you have the Moto 360, the Gear S, the G Watch, the Pebble, doesn't matter which one you have, people automatically assume now that whatever's on your wrist is the Apple Watch. And I don't know about you guys, but I have been getting tired, tired of educating people that they're not the first ones out here, that this, that Samsung has had a watch for two years, or there's been plenty of other watches that have been available out there. Um, and so what I've done is, I have created a t-shirt um, image right here actually or I think both, both these here um, it's a simple shirt it pretty much just clearly states no it is not an Apple watch and I made it in his or hers you can choose from two different colors I believe um, pretty much this is my solution for you guys so for those of you who have casual workplaces or just want to go out and just not get bombarded with questions just simply wear this shirt and it just solve all the issues now I know this is ridiculous, um, I just, I'm just i pretty much just going through uh, a website that's um, helping me do it, so whatever we sell is whatever we sell, but I'm actually going to be setting a goal here. I'm actually going to make a, a separate video, I'm, gonna make a, I'm actually going to make my first like fun sketch video for this thing, but um, if I end up selling 100 t-shirts, I will go ahead um, and purchase whatever um, money comes out to be whatever a decent Android Wear watch because this is an Android Wear segment obviously so I'll go ahead and pick out if if it's $300 that's raised and then we'll just go ahead and buy the LTG watch or or the new version that comes out um, I'll do a quick review on it but I'll end up giving away to one lucky winner and I will only do it for those who have purchased the t-shirt, so I'll make it fair and square for you guys. The link is in the annotation and as well as in the description link below. Now I've ordered a couple so you should see me wearing those t-shirts sooner or later. Um, there And they are going to have my LPX logo in the back so I can brand these now. <laughs> but guys, thank you for stopping by. I hope you got what you needed out of this video. If you have any questions or concerns at all about Android Wear or anything, please go ahead and leave a comment down below and be more than happy to. Um, answer your question or just strike up a conversation with you guys and if you haven't already done so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content and videos that I do on my channel and before leaving please go ahead and leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down let me know if you liked or disliked this video and if I don't see you in the next in the next video guys thank you for stopping by but hopefully I'll see you guys next time take care